Can you afford to live in Roanoke City? I'm getting ready to answer that question for you. Everybody quiet, please. Hey, Rob Jesse here, and our team gets calls from all over the, the nation uh, because the healthcare industry is, is growing tremendously here. Uh, and we get questions uh, like, what's the cost of living? What, it's, what is it like to live there? The weather and all kinds of things. And we absolutely love it. We love to see our area growing. So today we're going to talk about the cost of living in Roanoke City. The population in Roanoke City is about 100,000. Uh, some years it's a little more, some years it's a little less, uh, but it's averaging about 100000 So let's talk about housing prices. You're moving here, Roanoke City housing prices. Average home is about 133000 and uh, that's not too bad. It's lower than the national average. If you're looking to buy a house with no money down, click the link above here, and it will tell you five different ways you can buy a house with no money down. And the median income is 39000 which seems kind of low, but when you look at the housing prices, it makes it a little easier to swallow. So let's talk about rentals. A lot of times people move to Roanoke and they're looking for uh, to live here maybe a year or more before they decide to uh, buy a house. You can get a two bedroom house here uh, or two bedroom apartment or whatever for about $750 a month. And uh, you're looking at three, four bedroom rentals, uh, nine fifty and up, uh, as much as twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred. Just depends on what kind of square footage you're looking for. Our utilities, they're about average with the uh, with the United States. I have a family of four living at home now. I actually have a family of eight, uh, six kids. But anyway, I have a family of four now. Our average electric bill, we have uh, electric, water, and gas. Uh, our average electric bill is about a hundred, hundred twenty-five. Gas bill in the summertime is way low. We're talking 10 to $15 at the most uh, because we have an electric stove. Uh, and then in the wintertime, it can be as much as 100, 125. Um, and then our water bill for a family of four, and we have teenagers, so they like to take long showers. Uh, you're looking at about $75 a month, and that includes uh, trash pickup too. Uh, so not too terribly bad. So if you're looking for transportation, moving to the area, uh, transportation, we have Roanoke City uh, or Roanoke Valley Metro uh, that can take you most places in the Roanoke and Salem area uh, within the city and in some parts of the county and then Salem. Uh, we have uh, downtown, now the Lime Scooters to get you around uh, if you're just staying uh, downtown or within the vicinity. Uh, and then we have Amtrak. Uh, so that will take you just about everywhere. And then we have the Roanoke Regional Airport that uh, flies out, uh, flies into different hubs like Charlotte, uh, Atlanta, and things like that. Gas prices in Roanoke right now today, it, aver it, it fluctuates, of course, it does all throughout the U.S. Uh, right now today, it's uh, $2.29 a gallon, and that's for just regular unleaded gas. Groceries, if you uh, are like me and you don't eat out every day. Uh, <laughs> groceries are about average throughout, uh, they're average with the U.S. Uh, gallon of milk, uh, yesterday I purchased one, uh, $2.99 a gallon. Eating out, if you're looking to uh, go on a date or just eat out for lunch or whatever, a single person you're looking at, anywhere between $15 to $20 uh, to, eat out, to eat out at a uh, little sit-down restaurant. Uh, if you're going out on a date, uh, out with honey or out with whoever, uh, you can eat out for about 50 bucks. And that's eating at a local steakhouse or something like that. Uh, if you're going to say a higher end, of course it's gonna cost more, but the average on a, on a, on a uh, two person dinner, uh, you're looking at about $50. Let's talk about beer. Uh, we have currently in the Roanoke area, 16 breweries and that includes uh, Roanoke, Salem, and uh, Bedford, Botetourt, just in the local area within half hour of each other. So Roanoke has uh, definitely started growing in the breweries. We actually have a, a, an annual beer festival 
that uh, all the local breweries and, and breweries within Virginia, uh, and I think some some out of the state too, come together and, and it's just like a big beer fest. Uh, so if you love beer, this is definitely the place for you. As I mentioned before, our top employer is Carillion Hospital. Uh, they have, uh, they pretty much own right outside of downtown, uh, which is great. We're bringing in new technology, new students, new people. Uh, this is uh, great for the Roanoke area and, and its growth. The second employer in Roanoke, the school system. Our healthcare cost uh, in, in this area is about average or a little above average for the, the uh, United States. If you're uh, looking for a neighborhood that you can walk everywhere, uh, we have those two. Uh, Grandin's one of the most popular. You can walk uh, to get your groceries. You can walk to, to different events, to, to, um, to restaurants and things like that. Uh, so Grandin's one of the most popular areas uh, for walkability. Uh, then you have Old Southwest. Old Southwest is pretty close to the Grandin area, but it's also close to downtown. So you're within a five minute walk of being downtown. So if you work downtown, that's an awesome area to do. Most of uh, Southwest is historical. Uh, then you also have downtown. Downtown, uh, of course, if you work down there, that's a perfect place to live. And they do have places you can shop and eat and, and different things like that. And of course, if you're looking to get around, you've got the Lime Scooter, uh, is out there and then you also have the local uh, there's a trolley that'll take you to different places like I said before I am a local real estate agent and I love Roanoke I love getting out and experiencing the community the culture uh, it's just all wonderful if you're looking to move here because of your job or just looking to relocate and you have any questions about Roanoke feel free to reach out to me uh, either through email telephone number text. Uh, you can even send it snail mail if you would like. Uh, if you want all of this uh, information, uh, a link to it, click below and it'll give you all the information you need about Roanoke City. If you like our video, hit that thumbs up. Also subscribe, hit that bell so that uh, you get notification when we do new videos. Every week we're uploading new videos about the Roanoke area. Have a super great day.